Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to display Salesforce Lightning data table using Lightning Web Component in Agent Force Agent. The type of Agent Force Agent I am using here is Employee Agent Force Agent. As of now, this uh, particular feature, uh, whatever we are going to see. Um, with uh, lightning web component and uh, lightning data table is applicable only for agent force uh, employee agent we cannot make use of this uh, same lightning web component uh, display for other types like agent force service agent so make sure the type of agent force agent you are using is employee agent force agent to test this uh, feature let's uh, dive into a demo and later we will come into the technical side of it i'm going to use a sales agent force agent the type is still employee agent force agent i'm going to say word like to buy products it is picking up the right uh, topic for me it is asking me to provide the name and it is not the quantity but it is the limit of uh, the products which will be displayed so i'm going to say name is test and i wanted to see five products so here i'm making use of a lightning data table inside my lightning web component to display the first thing is i created an apex class in this apex class i will get the product name and as well as the number of records they wanted to see i am fetching the product records matching the name and i am limiting the number of products they wanted to see i have uh, wrapper classes so that it can be um, passed uh, back to the agent force agent widget and then it will display so this is the response that will be passed back and then it will display. Next uh, thing is uh, you have to create lightning type. So here I created a lightning type called product search response. Inside this folder, this is the schema dot JSON. So this is the JSON I'm using. This is the apex class and this is the a wrapper so so it will look for product name and product code and this is my uh, wrapper class and uh, inside the product search response we have to create a folder called uh, lightning desktop gen AA and inside that I have this renderer.json here I am making use of product search lightning web component and this is my product search lightning web component HTML where I'm using lightning data table and this is my JavaScript so it will return the response to this value attribute or the value variable I'm iterating each and every value and then I am making use of this uh, temp products variable as an array and then i am getting the product name and product code here in order to make use of this lightning web component as an output in the agent force agent uh, display i am making use of lightning underscore underscore agent force output here i am making use of a list type and uh, for the type name, I'm using product search response. So this product search response is my lightning type. So product search response is my lightning type. So we should have an Apex class to handle the uh, uh, querying of records. So here uh, I will have to display multiple records. So I'm using uh, um, a renderer list so this is my lightning web component to display the lightning uh, data table 
and this is my lightning type schema and as well as uh, I have renderer.json when you do this development try to package apex class lightning type and the lightning web component in one single package and deploy it if you wanted to do the deployment one by one then first create this apex class next uh, create this lightning type and in the lightning type do not deploy it uh, and then create this lightning web component and deploy it when you deploy this lightning web component do not add target configs once you deploy the lightning type then try to add this uh, target configs back to this lightning web component and deploy it so that you will not have any dependency issue next thing is uh, we should create an agent action action for this apex class and method in the output rendering use the lightning type so here my lightning type name is product search response so i have selected it so here i created a simple topic called product interest the instruction is uh, very uh, simple like ask the product name and count use the search product actions uh, action to fetch and to fetch uh, and display the products so we can fix it so here uh, this is the uh, apex action so if you want to edit it you can click edit in detail page and then you should be able to select the output rendering please check the video description in the video description i have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the sample apex class lightning type and the lightning web component code for your reference i hope it was helpful thank you for watching